Kid Magic. Kid Magic Rock. Shots out. Here we go. Drink your water. Come on, come on, drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Now, grab your glass for some water. Grab your glass. Lift your picture of that water. Or a bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh huh. Simply pour some water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink Or should I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Bam. Just move your body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, move, move, then drink. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, raise, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink move. half your weight in ounces. Eat a culture appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. You can do it. Come on. Drink it. Lift and drink it. Come on. Drink that health in. Drink. 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 Drink Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift and pour. Lift it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift it, pour. Come on, pour it. Lift it. Move your body. Come on. Move. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place. Oh, get those muscles. Well, your hustle builds muscles. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host, Brother Hatim, and of course, you know that this is. What is it? Oh. Oh, this is a Heart of Simple production all day, air day. We want to give all of the Coogee babies, because I'm a Coogee baby myself. We want to give them all a round of applause. Come on now. Give it up. Don't be stingy. Come on. Don't be stingy. Thank you. Thank you. All you Coogee Chubby babies. Come on. Coogee Chubby, you want to take your bow. Thank you. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, you know, we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradise. <laughs> Oh, we can't play with these old paradigms, family. They holding us hostage. They keeping us down. They allowing us to 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 to, to waver. Um. So yesterday, in the mail, I got my up to date in Guza Saba challenge. I told y'all I was updating it. I want y'all to see the difference. So, if you look at the original in Guza Saba challenge, what you have. This one right here. What you have is you have the month. Oh, uh, can you see that? You had a month. I'm um, or the week, right? Then you have each day. You see that? Moja Kucha Shagalia. Jimo Jama. Uh, ah, come on, fingers. Don't fail me now. Nia Kaumba, Imani. Then you move to another week, right? Now, but what we found out is in our in in a, in, in our in a sense our initial beginning group that wasn't enough space. So we need to come up with more space. So what did we do? So we say, all right, cool. Bring out a new one. I just opened this up. So let's go and look at it. Boom. We got the week. But right beside the week, you got that space for journaling. You see that? Then we got emoji. Got a whole page so that you can go and do your journaling. Got Kuji Chagalia. Got your whole page so that you can do your journaling. Ujima. With that whole page. Ujima. With that whole page. You got Nia. With that whole page. You got Kaumba. With that whole page. And you got Imani. With the whole page. And then you start back over with the week. And you go and get your week started. Hey, when you have your mindset, you fill out your week. You know what I'm saying? You know, your goals and your objectives and stuff like that. Things you want to do on those days. You got that week and you got the extra space for your notes. Right? Now, with that, that doubled the size of each week. So that means that this book has less weeks than this book. But this book, there will be no more of these produced. So the ones that's out there are the ones that's out there. Rare finds. And we got the Goose Saba Challenge book right here. So now I got my got my book. I am I started. Um, on Kuji Chagalia, so I have a whole emoji that's wide open because I started my emoji in this one. So now, family, get your books out. Get your books out. Get ready for your writing prompts. You got space for your writing, right? Because you can start over here, and then you got a little bit of space over here, and then if you need to, you know, you go. You got some extra. You got some extras in the back. I put a few extras in the back. You see that? You got some extras in the back. So that if you, you know, like I said, if you're one over right, you want to do it. Or, you know, like I said, you might need to just get another side notebook like I have. But anyway, this is just to get you started. All right. So we on Kuji Chakalia. The date is 2822-6. Now let's go and look at some of this. You know, I want to... Uh, well, I got a news article up that I want to kind of share with y'all. So let's go. On. Well, before we even get to that, let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. The title of the rap for today is, put my shirt down. The title for the rant today is, 
how to turn obstacles into opportunities, yeah. right? Now, the the inspiration, I, I'll say that. I'll, I'll save it. I'll save Should I save it, anime? Anime says save. All right. So let's go on and let's look at um, some of our news today. We want to look at some of our news. Ain't even a whole lot of it. I just got one article that I want to check out to see what's going on. Um, make sure I'm on that article. There we go, right there. Boom. Let's go on and make that transition. We're going to do... We're going to do... We're busting out. We're busting out on fun. For those of you who are not we're busting out. All right, there we go. So, keep forgetting things. Neuroscience says it might be a hidden brain advantage. And I put up here, I forgot why I posted this article. All right, um, and I did kind of forget why I posted the article. But we're going to go and look at it. Let's go and look at it. We're going to check this article out. Homeboy holding the crest mark. I like that. You know, I'll be looking for ideas for when I'm doing my stuff. Keep forgetting things. Neuroscience says it might be a hidden brain advantage. Rather than being a bug, forgetting may be a functional feature of the brain. Huh. Let's go and explore this, because I'm old. I want to know. Forgetting things can be annoying. It can be bad. It could be worrying. What was that colleague's name? Damn, I do that all the time. What time is the appointment tomorrow? Wow. Must be reading my mind. Was the vendor offering 25% of, of 200 products or 20% off of 250? Even as you grow a bit older, uh-oh, am I forgetting things because my brain is slowing down due to aging? Today we have some good and interesting news to share on this front. My fault, let me go up. This is from Inc. Magazine. Um, the author's name is Bill Murphy, Jr., you can find them at BillMurphyJr.com. Today we have some good news, interesting news to share on the front. First of all, if you worry, stop. It's not likely to help in any event. But second, it turns out that forgetting things might actually be a neurolo neurological advantage. How? According to the new theory in the Journal of Native Review Neuroscience, there are several key points. First, we have to remember that at any moment, we are exposed to far more stimuli than we could possibly pay attention to. Never mind remember accurately, even just seconds or minutes later. Second, forgetting some things may be most things is a natural mechanism of the brain without which it will, almost, it will, it will be almost impossible to function in daily life. Find the brain has to promote access to specific memories ideally the most useful ones so now y'all gonna read the rest of that i just want to introduce you to the concept so when you see brother hot tim forgetting you will look at brother hot tim and be like man he just getting old no now my brain is shutting down on shit that's not necessary your name is not necessary your name for me not to memorize is not necessary just say it i mean i don't want it's not personal I got a lot of I got a lot of stimuli around me, right? So I'm I'm focusing on those things that I need to remember, all right? So uh, just wanted y'all to know. So that's the news for the day right now. So we're gonna get back over here. Let's go and get back over there. Let's go. We're gonna do some ancient building. We'll go through the ancient building. I'm kind of lost, but here goes some fractals. Go and look at the fractals for a second. As anime get get everything ready for us right now, anime baby, if you could, could can I please, please, can you get us started on this it's journey? The problem, Robert, 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 Want the writing prompt for the day. Here you go, proverb of the day. What you may call small, another will call it big. What you may call small, another will call it big. And what you call big, 
someone else may say that it's small. And that's the proverb. Tell me, what does it mean to you? It's the proverb. 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 Pro Let's see. Um, now let's move to the next thing. Anime, can you give me? Can you get me queued up, baby? Can you get it queued up for me, please? What is it? What's next? Folk tales. Folk tales. Folk tales. Folk Folk tales. 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 Folk 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 was pursued by a wolf. Seeing he could not escape, he turned around and said, I know, friend wolf, that I must be your prey, but before I die, I would ask of you one favor. You will play me a tune to which I may dance. The wolf complied, complied and while he was piping and the kid was dancing, some hounds hearing the sound ran up and began chasing the wolf. Turning to the kid, he said, it is just what I deserve, for I, who am only a butcher, should not have turned Piper to please you. Get the message! Folk tales, 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 folk tales. The kid and the wolf. Hey, that was a smart kid. I like that one. I, I like that one. Because usually the little kid get eight. But that one used his mind. I want to make sure uh, I, I need to do, I need to go on. I want to put that one up right now to make sure I get that. Because I want to have that discussion with the young people. Kid and the wolf. I know y'all be like, bro, you know. And I know y'all be like, brother, I tell him. Share that, but I, I I like to come on fresh with it, cause you know you never know what what it's gonna spark, and you never know. I never know, and what's crazy, I it it always kind of amazes me, especially when what we're gonna talk about in the moment, what we're gonna talk about far as the moment, far as our rant, how it and the proverbs kind of you know uh, go hand in hand. Uh, but this don't look like it. Um, I got, oh, God. Okay, application, kid and the wolf. Uh, huh. Maybe I told y'all the wrong one. Yeah, it's the kid and the wolf. All right, cool. All right, I'm going to, I have to write it down. I have to send it to myself. But this don't sound like the one I had. You know, I, you run into that sometimes, family. You run into that sometimes. Don't get frustrated because sometimes the, the proverb will not be the one that you thought. But anyway, the folktale, my fault. But we got the proverb and we got the folktale. So now let's get straight into the rant so Brother High Tim can get up, get out here, and get this, um, get this car situation meted out. Let me get my coffee. Got my coffee in my Giami cup. Every time I take a sip, I'm I, I'm I'm supporting Giami because I paid for this expensive ass cup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get it. Let's get it. Anime, can you get everything together for me, please? Is everything? Are you getting all of the stuff together for me? Is everything ready? Is my queued up? Is it queued up? I'm thinking all the time. I'm thinking all the time. I'm thinking all the time. All the time. Right? So right now we are in the midst of putting together 
a 21 week Yakuza Saba challenge training and rites of passage process. <laughs> right? Listen, now, because family, like this 21 week challenge that we working on, family, you ain't gonna, you gonna have to use your mind, you gonna get your spirit right, your intuition is gonna be on point, right? Your physical body is going to be tasked. So, you know, I mean, because some people be like, yeah, I'm just going, yeah, I'm going to do it. You know, and, you know, just thinking they're going to just be sitting here listening to Brother High Tim go on and pontificate on these principles. Oh, hell no. Mm-mm. You got to do, no. Putting the tribe together, it's hard work. You're going to have to be getting up. You're going to be doing the work. You're going to have to be doing the writing prompts. You're going to have to be held accountable. You're going to have to be doing your fasting. I know some people ain't going to be able to fast at the same level as other people, but, you know, each of us to each our own. We're going to be taking that. We're going to be doing some form of warrior diet. Mm-hmm. All right. Can I get my time clock, please? Time clock is ticking. Rant for the day. Rant for the day. How to turn obstacles into opportunities. So this this came up um, in a discussion that I had because yesterday I had to get a ride to work. I thought I wasn't going to possibly be able to make it because I went out to my vehicle. And because I didn't take my vehicle off the road during this snowstorm, I was trapped in basically an ice cube. In order to get out there, we're going to have to actually get picks, spades, and metal shovels to go and dig me out. I'm thinking that I throw a little bit of salt down, and I'm a, and I'm like, man, I'm 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 messed up. So I get a ride to work, and as I'm riding with one of my brothers to to the job, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about a challenge that he's going through, and how this challenge actually turned out, and it wasn't even a challenge. When it first happened, it's like a curse. Just like with my my vehicle being stuck right there. It's like, ah, oh, God, why me? Right? But the idea was that oftentimes we get blessings, but these blessings come in disguises, and because we don't take time to really look at what's going on, we miss the blessing. Or we get unexpected blessings from unexpected situations. And if we're wise enough, we are able to look at those situations and extract the gift that's in them. Right? Being able to look hard times in the face and be like, why the hell are you here and what you supposed to be teaching me? Rather than, <laughs> this is how someone said, <laughs> why me? <laughs> God. And our eyes is closed, and we're crying, and we snotted up, and we and the blessing sneak right by us while we <laughs> oh, God, why? Right? And the blessing is hanging around you, and you can't see it. Part of Kuji Chaglia is being able to define, right? Being able to define, being able to take control, being able to be steadfast, being able to be strong. In the moment. And in these rough times, we have to be willing and be able to do this. Why? Why? Because it's in the rough times when the blessings come. See, check this out, family. Those of you that work out, you don't go to the gym. You don't go to the gym. You don't when you go to the gym, they ain't couches laid around in front of TVs where you could just lounge and watch TV. A gym is a place of, of uncomfortableness. You go to the gym to be uncomfortable. You go to the gym to push yourself. You go to, your, to, to the gym to stress your body. Why? Because when you stress your body, you break things in your body that causes them to, to, to heal themselves and grow back stronger. What makes us think that life is not the same way on our mind, on our emotions, on our intuition, on our spirit, 
What makes us think that the process is any different for those things than it is for our body? If I want my body to be stronger, I have to put it up under stress. If I want my mind to be stronger, I have to do what? Say it with me now. I have to put it up under stress. If I want my emotions to be stronger and I want to have control over my emotions, I have to put them under stress so that I can practice using them. If I want my spirit to be stronger, what do I have to do? I have to put my spirit up under stress. If I want my intuition to be sharper, what do I have to do? I have to put my intuition up under stress. Family, oftentimes the very blessings that we are praying for are coming, coming to us, our creator and our ancestors are sending the blessings, but because we want them to come in the way that we think that we are supposed to recognize them, we miss them. They shoot right past us. Come on now. Many of y'all are looking for the blessings to come down. Oh! God be like my child. I have been watching you sit on the couch. And I figured that you needed a blessing. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you. I see you down here on your knees praying every day. I, oh, thank you, God, thank you. No, no, the blessings come in the midst of the work. The blessings come in the midst of the suffering. The blessings come in the midst of the sorrow, in the midst of the stress. That's all that is. It's stress. So don't cry with your eyes closed. Cry with your eyes open. Don't cry standing still. Cry moving. Right? To get over this because there is something on the other side. And the thing on the other side of this may be something that you wanted, but it's coming to you in an unexpected way. I can think I, 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 there's countless, countless, countless situations in which I ended up being, I'm like, this shit is horrible. I ain't going to never escape this. But out of it came the biggest blessings of my life. The biggest and the greatest blessings of my life. Some of them was very long, too. But at the end of it, man, I was able to dance. And I was stronger. And I was better. And I was smarter. And my emotions were, and in that situation, I had been able to tame my emotions so that I could get them to work for me rather than get rather than them working for somebody else. Come on, family. If you hear me, I don't know if y'all hear me. Right? But listen, now, here are a few questions that I want you to wrestle with. Those of you on the Goose Sub Chat, get your books out. White prop, right prop. I'm going to have to do something for that. You got your extra space, those of you that got the new book. Go to Nguzu, cyberchallenge.gnj.media. That's Nguzu, cyberchallenge.gnj.media. Right? Right? Matter of fact, let me see if I got that on here. I can show y'all, if I can share that with y'all real quick. Yep, there we go. There we go. All right, I'm going to bring it up. Um, Let's see. So that y'all can see, this is in all of, when you get, this is in the write-ups. This is in the write-ups. I'm going to make a transition real quick. Let's do a quick transition. There you go. Now, in the write-ups, I, I can't focus it in. But if you go to Nguza Cyber Challenge, you go to Nguza Cyber Challenge right here. Let me highlight it. I'm going to highlight it for y'all. Boom. Where my highlighter? Highlighter! Oh, you ain't going to let me highlight? What's going on? Oh, that's so messed up. All right. And Goose of Saba Challenge. Right there. And Goose of Saba Challenge. Let me just put that right there. Hmm. There should be a way. All right, cool. There you go. And Goose of Saba Challenge. Matter of fact, let's just, let's just do this. Matter of fact, to make it easy for you. Because this challenge, I think it's, this challenge is something... That can help a lot of people. So I'm going to just go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. And I am going to. There we go. I'm going to make it real big. We just going to go on and print. I'm going to go on and write. I'm about to write it up right now. I'm going to uh, make this bold. 
I'm gonna make it uh, title. So this this is a lesson for y'all, right? Check this out. This is how you do a title. You go to title, boom. It all the man make his bid. Go go to Nguzu. Saba Challenge, all one word. Dot G N J dot media. Ta da! And there you go, right there. In Guza Saba Challenge dot G and J dot media, right? Now, this is why. Because listen, family, part of being able to recognize some of this stuff is being able to make have recall in your life. This requires you to do some research on you. So this means that every now and then you're gonna have to go back and I have to go back. In my diaries, I have to go back in my writing so I can remember certain situations I was in so that I could remind myself, damn, I done been through worse. I done been through this. I done been through something similar to this. This is nothing. Or, oh, this is totally new, but um it has it has these markers, right? See, because we set patterns, I'm tracking myself, right? Being a warrior, right? I have to know how to track. Being being a, 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 a nation builder on a warrior path, I have to be able to, I, I have to know how to track. I have to be a master tracker. I am leaving tracks so that I can find myself and remind myself. I could get, always be able to go back to my source, right? So go and get, you, get yourself, you know, like I said, even if you don't get this one, do some journaling, family. So that you go back and you can look at some of the things and you can write write some of the stories. And then this is what's even more important, right? Beyond you, I am leaving documented accounts of my life for my next coming generation. So it'll be my children, it'll be my nieces and nephews, it'll be my it'll be in my entire tribe that will be able to pull from thousands and thousands of, vi of videos information about what I was going through and about some of the stuff that was coming up on my mind. And the information that I am leaving, whether it's done in written form or whether it's done and documented like this, whether it's done just with voice, they will be able to go through it and they will be able to find a moment that they need. This is what we supposed to be doing, family. This is why we have scribes in, 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 in our ancient kingdoms. This is why the written word as well as the spoken word was very important to us. Why? Because it allowed us to transmit our struggles so that our next generation do not have to go through the same. You don't have to make the same mistakes. You don't have to make the same mistakes in your life. You don't have to make the same mistakes and be crying with your eyes closed and miss your blessing. Because now you can read and be like, oh, I remember this happened before. Oh, man, my car, my engine blew up, and I thought it was the end of the world. But it just so happened that because my engine blew up and I lost that job, I mean, I want y'all to think about this. This shit has actually happened to me. The engine blow up, I lose the job or lose the opportunity, but other better opportunities opened up because I wasn't able to focus on those because I was going to that other place using that car to do shit that I didn't need to do. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Come on now. Listen, family. It, 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 it's, it's, it's critical. But let's go back to these questions. Because my, um, my time, my time, I'm running my mouth, my time. All right, let me go on, um, switch back, transition back. There we go. All right. Um, shit, I might do a, need to do a screen with the Nguza Saba Challenge on top. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. I know y'all like, brother, hi, Tim. There you go. Scheming. I, I'm thinking all the time. I told y'all. I don't know why y'all think I'll be playing. Um, So here are some questions I want you to wrestle with. Writing prompt. Do you have any stories of being sideswiped by any obstacles and turning out to be a blessing? Being sideswiped, because I used that in the article for those that got the article. 
sometime I would be sideswiped by Have you ever been sideswiped by life? Do you have any stories of being sideswiped by an obstacle in life and turning and it turning out to be a blessing? Hmm. Hmm. Being sideswiped by life and it turned out to be a blessing. Do you have any stories about that writing prompt? Have you overcome the biggest obstacle in your life? Ha how have you overcome the biggest obstacles in your life so far? What were some of the things? Like for me, like I said, I told you have your arsenal of Proverbs. My Proverbs helped me make it through. You know what I said? A baby always want to sleep on the softer side of the pillow. Am I the baby crying right now? I got that from my I got that from my grandmother when I called her about advice about my son, about about wisdom and the Giami boy. Right? When I had some issues in my house, I had to call my grandma. My grandma somehow, well, actually I ain't called her for it, but we ended up talking about it. And what she told me was, listen, baby, she ain't answered the problem. She made me think about it. The baby always wants to sleep on the softer side of the pillow. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, Mima, all right, I got you. And then I hung up the phone, and a couple of months later, I got it. Oh, that was brilliant, right? You know what I'm saying? Those who are not willing to sacrifice will not be fulfilled. Damn. Ooh, is this a sacrifice that I wasn't willing to make, so the universe took it, and now I got something coming? So now let me look for what's coming. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? How have you overcome some of the biggest obstacles? I'm going to laugh about this someday. One day I'm going to laugh about this. That's one of mine. Be like, wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Get, have your arsenal of, of, of proverbs that you are able to plug into to energize yourself because you're going to need it. What are some of the biggest challenges you had to overcome in your life? What's the biggest obstacle you had to overcome? Be honest. See, because a lot of times we, because this is private writing, so you might want to put this somewhere where nobody can find it. Because sometimes a lot of our biggest obstacles are little private things that really, really hurt us that we don't never want to reopen again. But we have to go back and look at them so that we can remind ourselves, damn, I made it. I thought I, thought I would never make it do that. What did I use? Some people use prayer. Some people use meditation. Some people lean. I mean, it's what 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 did I lean on? What did I lean on? Right? And, and, and as embarrassing as it was for me, right? I need to get the lesson so that I could put it in my pack so that one, I won't make that mistake again, but two, I know that I have the capabilities, the resilience to make it through something else. What have you learned from a life experience that has taught you the most about yourself? We just got done talking about that. What did you learn? What In those tough situations, what did you learn about yourself? If you could go back to any time in your life, would you change anything? And if so, what? All right. So here, here's the end. There is something for us all to gain from staying open to the possibilities that our challenge could actually be opportunities in disguise. Take a moment to reflect on what is holding you back at this moment and remind yourself that your obstacle might actually be an opportunity. Actually, I'm stealing this from uh, from my brother. Um, he don't like, you know, he, he don't even have a Facebook, really, so he don't even like his name being on the Internet. But anyway, he always... And he gets on my nerves with this shit. But he be right. What's the opportunity here? Now I don't want to hear that. <laughs> anybody, got that, anybody got that philosopher friend? You know what I'm saying? And at those times, you, you, you be plagued. And, and he come up with the philosophy. And it's right. But it's like, I don't want to hear that shit right now. I ain't ready for that right now. I don't want to hear it. But he always asks the question, what is the opportunity here? No matter how bad it is, we it be we be fucked up, and he be like, oh, and he has been like, see, and this is what a lot of people don't understand. This person I'm talking about has been like this since he was 16 years old, always reflecting. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker, no, here we go, here we go, or those individuals 
that be with you and they hear what you say and then they throw that shit back at you when you need it most but you want to hear it least <laughs> I'm just saying family you need to surround yourself with tribe I'm always talking about tribe but we need to we need to have those people around us right that could remind us of what we supposed to be doing and when we face these hard times they are the ones that's behind you that whisper in your ear to keep you strong you know a lot of fights that i got into when i was younger were fights that i if i was fighting for myself i wouldn't have won when I was fighting for others and other people were reminding me about who I was supposed to be and who I was supposed to be to them. See, this is why tribe is so important to me because I have been in actual situations where my tribal identity pulled me through. It wasn't hot Tim, which is part of my tribal identity. I guess I could say it was hot Tim because hot Tim is not who I came here as. Right? But it was my tribal identity that allowed me to do the things that I was that that I did. Right? And pulled me through. But anyway. Take a moment to reflect on what is holding you back at this moment. Remind yourself that your obstacles might actually be an opportunity. This small shift in thinking can change your life and lead you towards some incredible possibilities. Here are a few tips from GNJ Media. That can help you. Be open. Writing prompts. Here you go. Get your notebook. Get your goose up challenge. Journal. Come on now. I'm telling you. Get them out. Get, get them now. Be open to the universe. Universe's plan for you. Stop fighting it. You put well, in the universe. You could place ancestors. You could put ancestors. You put creator. Put whatever you're comfortable with. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not on that. I'm. I'm not set trillion, right? Be open to the blanks plan for you. Stop fighting it. Hell, if some of y'all, some of y'all out there, be open to your to your plans. Stop fighting it. Try to understand the things happening and why they are happening. Look at the thing and try to step back so that you can see why they're happening. Try to expand and see the bigger picture. It's going to be very hard. But when you when you, when you you get off the focus of you and start expanding, you may be able to find some opportunity in it. Try to listen and understand the obstacle role in your life. Why is this? Look at the obstacle. Focus on the actual obstacle. Not how it affects you. Not how it's breaking your life. But focus on the obstacle. What's there for you? Is it something that you could, you know what I'm saying? You know, I remember, I'm, and, and I'm, I'll make this quick. When Cleve came here, Cleve was three. I had two years to get Cleve ready for school. And, and one of the things that, because me and my pops, we would argue a lot. But one of the things that he was clear on was that regardless of how me and him got along, Cleve was his dude. So he said, the thing you need to be worried about is getting Cleveland School. So I already got Cleveland School, right? And it just so happened that things had lined up in my life to where there was a school where I could get Cleve in. And I, because I didn't have all of the, I had a lot of the paperwork, but I didn't have all the necessary paperwork because Cleve was not a citizen of the United States. But I, I was able to line it up, right? And I was able to go through that time. And my life lined up in a way with the difficulties that hit right at that time, right when Cleve started school, right? My income went to zero, damn near. Opportunities opened up, and I was able to, boom, take advantage of them, right? I was able, rather than soaking in the fact that what I was doing had dried up, Opportunities made themselves present. And if I would have been crying and whining about my situation and how life is wrong and how it's all fucked up, or going to the white man and blah, 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 his schemes, 
by me focusing on what was going on, I was able to take advantage up to a point to where not only could I make a place for Cleve to have a school and to be able to have a, a living where I would be able to support Cleve and my family, right? I was able to expand my family and have a place for the other children to go and um, and, and nieces and nephews and grand nieces and grand nephews and all types of other people for them to go because I was open to the opportunity. Family, this, I, listen, I, when I talk about the Giami for life, when I talk about what happens with Giami, this is real life shit, right? I'm, this is stuff that I know. This is stuff that I know that works. Now, some of y'all just looking to get rich. Why? See, you're focusing on the wrong aspect of what the ancestors can do for you. Well, yeah, they could bring wealth. Yeah, they can. Toasting the ancestors every day. Yeah, they could bring you wealth. You know what I'm saying? But can they bring you opportunities, right, so that you can establish something that can't be taken away from you? Y'all don't hear me. Try to listen and understand the obstacles role in your life. Don't let negative thoughts get you down. Work on having positive thoughts to overcome them. Now, I meant to I meant to kind of rewrite that one because I'm more of not negative. We need to develop a, a balanced mind state because we need positive and negative. Because one, you know what I'm saying? Imbalance either way is imbalance. We need... Being a, a man of my eye, being a man of Giame, I understand that it requires balance for this universe. It requires negative and positive for this universe to happen. My life, the very way that, I, uh, that I'm in existence, requires negative and positive to pop off. Masculine and feminine. It requires two extremes to be in constant conflict and constant, constant. It's, 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 it's a balance there. And it's always, better yet, it's always seeking a balance. And in trying to seek a balance, it allows me to exist. You understand what I'm saying? So now, rather than me being like, ah, oh, positive mind state, negative mind state, I'm looking for the balanced mind state. Because there might be instances where I might need the positive thoughts, but then every now and then I might need the negative thoughts to kind of motivate me and also look for some of the changes that I might need to make. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't live a totally positive life. That's that's you know what I'm saying? That that don't I ain't gonna say it don't exist, but it takes you out of existence. Cause you possibly get it be, but you be you as far as this reality, you're gonna become neutral. You ain't gonna be able to do shit. Anyway, I'm sorry. Talk to other people who have been where you are now and get their perspective. Now, in order to do this, you got to talk about your problems. And to talk about your problems, you find out that there's other people that have the problems that you have, and you are able to talk to them and possibly get insight into where you are that will help you move forward. <laughs> Anime, did I do it? Did I do it, girl? Okay, cool. Can I get my theme music, please? As we say in Giami family, class dismissed. Now get the hell up out of my classroom. Man, I don't even have the rain running no more. Y'all, nobody said nothing. Nobody say nothing. Where's my protection team? Anime. Simba. Explosion. Why you ain't tell me? Crowd. Nobody, nobody noticed that the... All this time, all these episodes, nobody said nothing about the rain. Those of you that want to listen to this rain, I can post it up so that you can go and use it to go and put yourself to sleep. It's on our, one of our, it's on our YouTube channel. But this is, that's whack. Y'all know that, right? Nonsense. Anyway, um... Oh, okay. But anyway, this is what we're about to do, family. I'm going to give y'all a second to get yourselves together. I need to get my life together real quick. 
Gotta get, gotta get stuff ready. Try to get out of here. Um, so y'all gonna take a minute. Get your life right. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. Here's the pledge. Minute by minute. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your history. You lose your history. You lose your power. You lose your power. Minute by minute. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your faith. You lose your faith. You lose your power. You lose your power. Minute by minute. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your faith. You lose your faith. You lose your power. You lose your power. If it is to be. If it is to be. It's up to me. It's up to me. I feel good about myself. I feel good about myself. I feel good about the people around me. I feel good about the people around me. Call on the ancestors and the creator to watch over us as we do this African pledge. I pledge allegiance to my people. I pledge allegiance to my people. The African race. The African race. The original man and woman on the planet Earth. The original man and woman on the planet Earth. And the founders of civilization. And the founders of civilization. I pledge to continue to struggle. I pledge to continue to struggle. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. To total freedom. To total freedom. I pledge to study and discipline myself. I pledge to study and discipline myself. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. I pledge to live my life standing tall. I pledge to live my life standing tall. For a person on his knees is not respected. For a person on his knees is not respected. If I am challenged, if I am challenged, I must say I will not surrender. I must say I will not surrender. My position or my dignity. My position or my dignity. But instead I will endure. But instead I will endure. Until the final victory is won. Until the final victory is won. Hold tap. Hold tap.
sorry. Uh, we about to go on and and we're gonna pour up these uh we're gonna do this toast, get these um get toast this moment, family. We are in the moment of Coogee Chaga Lee again, Coogee Chaga Lee. <laughs> You got that old and that young mix. Cleve got these gallons. I know Cleve, I guess Cleve allergic to money because he don't want to. I don't know if he contacted people or whatever. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got an emergency. I'm sorry, family. I'm back. I guess I could have put on some music or something, huh? But anyway, we're going to do, we're going to lift up our glass. We're going to toast, um, of course. We're going to lift up our glass. And for those that are interested in getting their ancestors on our list, on our daily toast list, um, it's a very simple process. You join our email list. You go to gnj.media, which right now at the present moment appears to be down. And once you click the button, it will take you to where you'll be able to sign up for email list as well. Or or you can sign up for our free e-course. It's free gnjecourse.com. And you'll be added to the email list. Also, um, you go to giamijourney.com, giamijourney.com. And you'll be able to, you know what I'm saying, get on the email list as well. You can sign up where it says follow Giami Journey. You just go on, click follow, enter your email address, and blah, we right there, right? Or just go to the blog. In the blog, we always have places for you to sign up for Giami Journey, okay? For our email list, for Giami Journey email list, right? Um, so that you can know when we got some offers coming, because we got some offers coming. I'm about to do uh, a write-up on our gaming channel. We got a gaming channel that is starting to post up a little bit regularly, you know, because some of the young people is trying to, they they, they feeling what Brother High Tim is talking about now, right? It's, it's like, yo, it's, it's like it's becoming reality. So we got the gaming channel because we got young people that like the game, you know what I'm saying? So we try to make a little bit of traction over there. Um, also, we're going to have some more offers coming out because I want to do a write-up and send out some information about the Ngusa Saba Challenge. We got other products that's going to be coming out from other people, um, other opportunity for uh, for healing because one of the major things that Giami Journey is involved in is healing. But anyway, get on the email list. And you can, and once you're on the email list, you can correspond with us, and then you can let us know what your ancestors, what ancestors you want to put on the list. You could uh, email us your comments. You can, um, I mean, we can have conversations. You know, you can drop information on us. We can share information with you, blah, 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 blah. But you put your ancestors on there, we know, right? As well as those that you want us to toast up that might need that last part of the toast where we do that healing energy. So we lift up our glass. We toast the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We lift up our glass. We salute and we say, I say. Thank you, anime. From there, family. From there. Where we go? Where we go? From there, we're going to move. And we're going to lift up. Our, pers our personal ancestors, which we do every morning at 5.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on gnj.media, right here on giamijourney.com, right here on our podcast channel. You go and look up Giami Journey. You can throw us on your RSS feed and let you know we got something coming up, right? Every day we toast the ancestors. And we lift up our glass. We say, Ashe. <laughs> It's a very simple process. From there, we're going to move to the present moment. We, right now, we have Kuji Chagalia family. I ask you as I ask every day, open up your reticular for, formation. Seek out Kuji Chagalia in this moment. We are responsible for this moment. We have the ability to shape, shape the present as well as shape and mold the future by the actions that we take. 
So you have to ask yourself and be responsible for the actions that you are taking. What are you doing right now to move towards a better you, towards a better reality, towards a better future for your children and your children's children? So we lift up our glass right now in this moment, embracing this moment, embracing the principle of this moment. And that's Kuji Chagalia. For those that don't speak the language, Kuji Chagalia means the closest we come to is self-determination. The modic principle today is justice. The color is indigo, as you can see by my shirt. I, I use dark blue because the indigo, yeah. But anyway, you know, we got, we got, we got, we got Daily Toaster shirts. You get Daily Toaster shirt in the color that you want. Um, uh, correspondence is the hermetic principle today. Male name for the day is Kwabana. Female name is Abina. All right. We lift up our glass, we lift up our glass, we lift up our glass, and we salute this moment. We salute the power within this moment. We take responsibility for this moment, and we move with it in power. And we lift up our glass, and we say, Ashe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We lift up our glass. From there, family, we move to our future. We toast our children, our children's children, onto infinity, and we lift up our glass, and we say, Ashe. We lift it up high and we salute, right? And we say, uh, oh, but, but, but before we say that, now, those of you that want to add people to the list, get on the email list. You're going to send it to us and we, we're going to add people to the list. Right now, we have uh, Brother Kwame. No, my fault. We got Brother Kwesi Lowe. Matter of fact, I'm going to put Kwame on it too. We got Brother Kwesi Lowe. Um, we got Brother Kwame because Brother Kwame have an issue with his voice, so we want to lift him up keep him you know together um we got um uh, elder tony west who's doing better um actually i gotta reach out to him today um and we got um elder debbie Bowie. we also want to big up and, and salute and raise our glass to all of their support networks because they have people around them that are working to make sure that they get better um we lift up our glass we say i shake Grabbing the Phoenix egg, where the Phoenix, um, 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 what Bainu told us, for those that don't know, Bainu is one of our business partners. He got to get, get his product, he uses the help fire. Bainu Health, boom, there you go. CMOS, you get CMOS.GNJ.media, go to CMOS.GNJ.media and get some of that fresh Bainu CMOS, right? Listen, I'm lifting it up. He gave us an egg, he said it can hatch any day now. Any day now, between now and 10,000 years. I mean, who could, I mean, that's like, that's worse than waiting for the cable man, right? I'm like, damn, Bainu, you can't get a little bit more specific. You say, nope. I say, okay. All right, well, we hold on. We at Giami will hold on to it until it hatch, which means we got to keep a show going. And we got to keep on building. See how the myths work? See how the stories work? I told you about the story yesterday. See how it works, right? So 100 years from now, somebody be holding this saying, I don't know why we holding on to this, but somebody say, I got to use this for the toast, and that's just how it's been for the last 150 years. And we're going to hold it. Don't know why, but I'm holding it, right? Until, you know, to either hatch or it becomes a problem holding it, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But we lift up our glass, right? Um, we start with the credit, we end with the credit, and we say, I shake. Ashe, Ashe. Family, wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. And as we send Giammi Cat in, because this is our thing, and once again, this is what I tell you. I want you to know, because the line is coming. Too black! That's right, I heard you. I heard some of y'all. Some of y'all. We out. Ooh. I might throw some of that into my miso soup this morning. Let me see. Been on the miso for a little while, so we gonna go, man. Um, they already heard that one, so let's give them something else. Give them something else this morning.